Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look of what are the best options to have a small website hosted on a budget. You may want to have a small website hosted on a budget uh, for your uh, business or maybe you have some clients that doesn't require a big website. They want uh, small websites with maybe a couple of pages that looks nice and have functionalities. And uh, you may want to do this on a budget. You don't want to pay a lot of money for uh, hosting it. You don't want to pay maintenance for it and uh, things like that. If you're interested to see how you can uh, have these uh, small websites or one page websites hosted uh, for free, basically, you can uh, follow this video and we're going to check some different services that can help you have these websites. First service that I'm recommending, it's uh, Astro. Basically, this is a web framework that can help you build uh, one page websites. This is more for developers, but it has a lot of uh, free themes. This is a modern framework. It's uh, done on uh, Node. And it, for instance, if you're going to check the resources, you're going to see that it has a lot of free themes that can be applied. But uh, to do this, you will need uh, some uh, HTML and the CSS knowledge because maybe you want to modify this theme. So for instance, if uh, you want to build, let's say, one page website, you can check these templates and you can install it easily and uh, customize it as you as you like. I have uh, created some Astro tutorials in the in the past that can help you deploy this on various uh, services uh, like Cloudflare. The important thing for, for this is the fact that uh, with the help of Astro, you can host your website for free in uh, Cloudflare pages in Varcel or Netlify or other service provider, maybe Kinsta and so on. And you don't need to pay maintenance for it. You just uh, create the one page website, you put it there and uh, it will be fast and uh, it will benefit from CDNs and uh, things like that. There are a lot of tutorials also online for Astro that can help you build these websites, but you need to have some knowledge about uh, GitHub, how you can work with repositories and things like that. This is not hard. Uh, you find tutorials online. Also on my blog, you find various tutorials that can help you with this. So you can see in here, this thing, for instance, has a dark and light mode and it has a lot of widgets, it also has blocks, for instance, and things like that you have like for services. You have uh, pricing tables for it. And uh, so on. So this uh, can be done very easily with uh, Astro. I will let some videos into the description so you can get uh, started with this. Then uh, the second options that I'm recommending for small website, it's actually WordPress, but not host your WordPress blog like in the traditional way. What you can do, for instance, is to choose a theme that you like, for instance, Astro has a lot of uh, starter teams that can help you build uh, nice websites. You can uh, have a drag and drop editor in the admin area and uh, you can customize your template as, as you like and choose a free one that uh, you like. You can install it locally with the uh, local WP, customize it as you want. You can add your logo, you can add uh, your heroes, you can add your sections in there. And afterwards, what you can uh, what you can do is to go and uh, deploy it as a static website. For instance, in here I have uh, such a static website created where I created a tutorial in the past how you can do that. So you see in here that this website has everything uh, you need. It has uh, all the sections, everything is working and everything is quite fast. You can customize it with a Gutenberg editor. You can customize it with page builders. You can do whatever you want on this design. And at the end, you can uh, make it as a static website with the help of a plugin. I will let the link into the description for, for this video. And then you can host it on Kingsta. So for here, for instance, um, they have introduced a static site options where you can uh, link a GitHub repository and uh, Insta will fetch it from, from there easily. So this is completely free. So you just need to install WordPress locally. You just need to create a GitHub account that it's free and then you install a free plugin that will transform your website into a static one and you push it to GitHub and then you add the static website to Kingsta. You add your domain in here. You see in here, if you visit the site right now, it's a custom domain and all of these things are done for free. So I think this is the 
best options if you want to have a static website. If you are not uh, a developer or you don't know HTML or CSS, you can build websites with WordPress from scratch and you just convert them to static websites and you host them on uh, services that are free and you don't need to have maintenance for them. You don't need to do basically anything. You just put your website in there. It will be like a static website with an in index.html that will uh, start and it will serve uh, your website. It can have multiple pages. You can do SEO for it and you will have all the WordPress uh, benefits, but it will be a static website and you will not need to worry about maintenance. And uh, so this is the second option and uh, this is the more recommended one from my point of view, because it uh, allows you to create sites easily without HTML knowledge, CSS and things like that. If you're like a WordPress designer, this will be very easy for you to, to do. And uh, the third option that I'm recommending is to use like a card. This is a, a um, one page builder that it's very affordable. Basically, their plan starts with just a couple of bucks a year. You can have multiple websites. So, uh, for instance, let me check and see if we can go to the plans for this card. So, yeah, in here you have the prices. So, for instance, to have your custom domain and the 10 websites, you can um, you can buy it with only $90 a year. This is without a discount and you can have 10 websites. You can add elements and uh, this it's like a drag and drop interface that can help you build the websites easily. You don't need to know any HTML knowledge. For instance, I have a website in here built on card where I have some plugins and themes that can help you customize this card. And in here you see that this is a full website. You have like nice animation in here that you can add and uh, yeah you can add videos and uh, things things like that you can create for instance full pages let's go and demo this theme that i've created and it's free so in here you see that you can create some complex design in here i'm not telling that this is the best options but this is a good option in case you want something that is uh, drag and drop you don't want to pay hosting or maintenance you just uh, go to card and you choose the the, the plan and you can uh, you can start building your websites this is their interface in here and if you're for instance, want to edit a website, you'll see that this interface is easy to use. You just add elements in here like test images and things like that. You don't need to know any HTML, but yeah, you need to know some designs and you can uh, you need to build your uh, theme from from scratch or you can choose one of their themes. So I've also created a review of card and I'll let the link in the description so you can check and see more about it and how it can help you. Of course, there are other things that can uh, be used to have this uh, one pages or smart website created. But for my test, uh, this is the three ways that I'm recommending you to create smaller websites that uh, are on the budget. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, you find some ways to, to build your small websites for your business or for your clients. I will let links into the descriptions with tutorials how you can use all of these services so you can uh, get started if you want to, to build these smaller websites.